Hey guys, how are you doing today? I have something special for you in this video. I'm gonna paint um, Fortnite uh, fan art. It's one of the crazy and beautiful Japanese houses they have in a bit of the background. We're gonna do it in watercolor and I'm gonna show you like how I... How I... So we need a bit of yellow here. And I have a bit of like this dark orange that we're going to mix with the yellow. The roof is a uh, dark orange. And we're going to use some green for the trees and the leaves. So the way I start first is doing like the big shadows and details at, at, at the end. Uh, to be sure I'm doing a good job now, like I don't really have like a secret or technique or whatever. I'm gonna start blocking out the big shadows that are with the yellow. With this orange. I'm gonna mix it here a bit. Just start blocking big shadows that the, the roof leaves. So when I paint watercolor, I don't think about the result that much because you never know what you're gonna get with watercolor. You can really correct what you're doing, and sometimes it can be scary thinking about that. But for me, also feels exciting because by the end of it, you never know what you get, and you I can also not only surprise you guys. I can also surprise myself. And yeah, I've been doing watercolor a long time, but kind of took it more, you know, more seriously or just painting more with this uh, medium, you know, watercolor and not, and not uh, acrylic or oil in the past year and a half. So now we're, we're doing the shadows at the roof. And yeah. I want to do more of these. Uh, I know now my camera is kind of kind of bad. This stuff. And kind of blurry. Uh, there's nothing I really can do about that about it i just want to get some experience and yeah the, the purpose in the end is like but this is more for you know for a few subscribers that i have now and they want to see how i paint i did another one with oolong a fan art of the armor i was wearing back then when i was playing the game but i didn't really talk or explain what I'm doing. I thought maybe now I can do that. We're blocking all the shadows. And we have here. Here's like a balcony. I feel like something that you need to know in uh when you're painting something that even though for example the roof is green the the roof is orange sorry the leaves are green the sky is blue or something and you see that okay it's like three different colors the thing that i like with watercolor it's really easy to combine each other and something that you notice usually in the artwork of the newer games that color colors borrow each other off and that's the right wording of what i'm saying so the orange has some green in it and the sky is gonna have some orange in it and i mean the sky doesn't really Actually, that's, that's um, the sky doesn't really borrow any colors. We borrow the color from the sky. The sky only borrows the color from the 
I mean itself. The blue water. Actually, because the sky is blue. The roof is orange and has like this pipes. Like we're drawing the end of pipes that we see in the and the, the lamps have some orange in it. And now this shadow that the leaves mostly orange. Don't really have any green in it. And that making it like this, that more light on the and we can pipes. There are there are people that like draw and like really like detail, you know, when they paint. I do that sometimes, but I'm a really patient guy myself. And I like to make my art more, I don't know, paint, painterly. That would be the word. And I don't, don't want it to take like a lot of time. I used to I used to put more time when I was in college. Um, when I was working in acrylic, and it would take me like days or weeks to make a painting. I don't know when you have like a project in mind and you have something clear you can do it. But the way I want to do it now, I want to like paint one a day, and I want to do it fast, and I just want to keep painting. Okay, doing pretty good here. Uh, so this roof is a bit, it has like orange pipes, this perspective. And then the shadow, see like green, dark green. In the picture, like in the screenshot, you can see I mean, you guys don't see it because I have it on my laptop, but you can see all the details and stuff. I'm just trying like to block it to make it more. Trying to get the big shapes. I really like the the Japanese houses. The Fortnite did with this. Reason. I have always I have like this urge when I play video games and I see something amazing like to paint it. That's one thing that I started doing in the past year because you know in in college and stuff like that like they kind of like make you think about what you're doing and you have to have a clear message and stuff like that and I'm saying that's not good that's awesome. But now I I work more on. Which I kind of love because, you, you know, you, you kind of always have to like listen to your gut instinct also. And then you can rationalize what that is. So I'm not worried if I like paint, uh, you know, paysagistic or uh, portrait or whatever. I just do it. And then I can see what I'm good at or what I enjoy more. And usually your gut instinct is pretty right. But before you were like, you know, thinking, oh, if people would like this, or is that good or is that bad, but I don't think you ever need to think about that. You just need to paint. Making some progress, like you, you can see guys here. The laptop's kind of far from me the way I set it up here. That's good. Because I'm not because I'm not bothered with details. I know it's always scary to start on a blank canvas. And a lot of people when they draw or when they see a painting, they only think about like the the end, you know, the details on it 
know, how detailed is that and how clear you can see that and stuff. That only comes at the end, if it comes. Probably not gonna do that many details on this one. I just wanna like block it with shapes and nice painting. Not a realistic painting. That's why I love a lot um uh Breath of the Wild. One of my favorite games artistically wise and gameplay wise also. Like the way they did everything with painting, it just looked so awesome and They don't have to do like real graphics for you to get impressed and to get immersed. Do that through painting. Okay, this one's gonna be like just a video that I'm gonna upload. But my idea in the future would, would be like to do live streams and talk to you guys on the chat live while I'm painting. Is that just wanna try to see how it goes? The big group that we have. I'm really thinking about like the stream I did last night with the bayonetta. Oh my goodness. I want to do a, do a fan art of it. The Bayonetta fan art. I did a lot of Zelda before. And God of War. Red Dead Redemption. Take them on. A big shadow here. from the because it's between these two roofs you get that much light now we're going to this roof paint the shadow light leaf same as the other one also I think like doing fan art a good way to learn how to paint because they're already like artistic you know all the the 3d models and stuff like that and kind of already have the colors that like follow what you see you have to i mean there are a lot of artists that reimagine stuff in their own style but try to like mimic it at the beginning and then you kind of understand what kind of colors do they use and what they used to, uh, you know, put like a nice contrast in the game and what color work, then you can use it in your own painting. Oh. Don't be afraid to like. No, it doesn't have to look exactly like there, like in the in the picture. And if you're getting a different result, it, does, it doesn't really matter. You're just painting. Not every painting that you're gonna do is gonna be fantastic. But if you do it every day, some of them they will. And then you kind of learn it by instinct when you paint, and it's gonna get just easier and easier just because you paint. I know it's a bit discouraging when you see all these artists on Instagram. And every one of their paintings is just amazing. And even though, you know, they tell you and sometimes they show you like how many sketches they went through to get there, you still don't believe it. You feel like, oh, they're so talented, right? But it's always like hard work and just doing it over and over again. I'm going for the big roof. 
already looks like a nice roof. I'm pretty happy with it. Darker. So we're kind of, we have a bit of blue here too. I need this darkest one. You can put accents at the end. It's watercolors that I'm using. They're one of my favorites. I'm only using this most of the time. And they're really, they really like ink. Now they really have high control of that. I always liked high contrast colors. I used to paint college like honey watercolor and sparkly. A lot of contrast. Not like the watercolors that you can use a lot of water and stuff. It's like second shadow, it should be a bit. Lighter and then the first one. And the way the way I think about painting, because like I'm not an architect, even though I paint houses or you know I don't consider myself like a specialist in something. I just I just paint what I see and not think about too much. If like the perspective is good or you no, know, not I don't really think like that. I'm just painting what I see and trying to like it more 2D than even if it's 3D and just be honest of where each line goes. And if you're honest like that, in the end you can get the effect of the 3D. With the shadows, right? Like it already has like a a 3D effect. Okay, let's block out the windows. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, you can do it more. I'll probably get better at them. I can, you know, talk more and my techniques and stuff that I do. Something for sure that I want to do on the channel. I love painting. I love gaming also, but I, I want to, like, combine them. We're going to wait a bit with the windows. I don't really want this effect that I don't. And wait for this area to dry off a bit more. The top part. Not too much, just just. And here we have like some shadows. Okay, now we're gonna, um, gonna block out like the the sky. We need like two. It has some. Um, I hope this this is not gonna be too long or something. I'm gonna do some speed dust, maybe you know, short. You guys can just. Get it up from here. So we're gonna do sky first, and then the trees and the leaves second, because this blue is kind of like darker than the green. And I want the green to look pure also.
So in watercolor, you kind of want to think backwards when you paint. Usually you put the dark, the dark colors and you paint on top of it and you, you know, do it lighter and lighter until you get your effect. But with watercolors, you cannot really get lighter. You cannot put uh, white on top of something and then especially expect it to be white. You just have to block it and leave the white of the paper. Some people use like wash and to do their white, but I like to just use watercolor. Makes it a bit of a challenge and I love that. From so I'm gonna buy a better camera. Okay, now we have to block in the, the cloud. Clouds and big clouds. Where I want to in the, the leaves also. Here we have like some distant clouds. Because of that, they borrow the color a bit. Light blue. The more there are denser, some. Also, probably gonna post this. For my today, today's post on Instagram. And this year I started posting every day and named them like day one, day two, and day three. Already on day 90s. We're going on to 100. I feel like I want to draw something special for the 100. Out here. That looks pretty good. Maybe face for the Okay, so I've been like painting continuously now without stopping, right? We got this far. Pretty happy with it. Especially the middle window between the roofs. That looks pretty cool with the shadowing. I'm gonna wait here to dry a bit and draw the other window. And I think we can do leaves now. So again with the leaves it's just like you don't have to draw each leaf. Like somehow the the outside part needs to have the shape of like of the of the whole tree. That's how you know they're like leaves on top of each other there. You don't have to draw each Use some more blue bucket here, more it in more detail. We 
You can do a like a first pass green and then you can do a second pass with a darker green depth in the Uh, next time I'm gonna find some music for you guys, but I know it's boring without music, but I don't know exactly about how, what the copyright music stuff and I decided to do without. You can guys put your own music, the one that you like, background, favorite, you're watching this. Yeah. So with the house is not done, like I still need to make some areas darker so it contrasts more with the light and we get more depth in the 3D effect. So this, this other set of leaves, they really, it's a really dark green. And the reason is it's like that is because you have the sun in the back from the back of the so with this green actually is the same that I'm using, I put some blue into it, darker. I'm not using any black or any white or something. I use black sometimes, I have like real high contrast. We're gonna use here for these windows, even though that's a pretty dark color. Not that kind of painter, that's again black. Or Leave some white space here. Oh, it looks like so. I guess, yeah, I am used to now get like feedback, you know, when I'm on the Like or do. I'm really curious to know what you guys would like me to do more videos like this. For me, it's really fun and keeps me more productive. Yeah, so the thing that I like about like sometimes the the nuance, the color change, like now it's more blue. Finds them with the Put some red into it. This is my second link. Correct me in the comments. <laughs> the way I talk.
have some more on the Going pretty good. Like, uh, when I take my eyes and I look on the OBS, it's a bit of a different. Yeah, it's so, I have some more here. Just uh, yeah, let's uh, let's continue with it. It's a bit dark right now. Feel that. And then I have a small one here. That was where the roof meets. The uh, wall. There you would have like the light doesn't arrive there as much. So you have the the darker shadow. Now it has a The roof darker. I come from on the right here. So already we have more in the painting. On the other side again, darker everywhere. The roof on it's like when you paint sometimes there's a tip to look like your eyes slightly close so you see the bigger shapes that's kind of like how my watercolor look but not really detailed it's, you see the bigger shapes Time he created the illusion. But much darker hero. Yeah. 
we already have Oof. next time i'm gonna try a portrait banner maybe of some character maybe bayonetta to put a color on the on the walls they're not like really white this color on them I don't know if you really noticed it coloring the walls a bit Here is actually a Really, really pretty dope. I like that. Not like a super detailed watercolor, but it kind of gives you like the feeling. That's about it. Um, got there pretty fast. We can we can put a bit more detail. Maybe bit with the darker green here. Make kind of like a single second layer of depth. So you see, it's kind of backwards. Like I I painted the um, the brightest leaves first. Now even though this is on top, this is the dark leaves between them.
need to like do a bit of research about my brushes. I'm using I don't really know that much about brushes. And I don't know when I'm doing watercolor, I don't think they that much. I mean argue that of course they use that brush or inner lines and stuff. But as you see my style is not like a doesn't matter that much. it has like a really nice effect colors like this part here of putting watercolor what color does it? you can see the, the bright light that's on the walls and everywhere and yeah that's what it, what's important I, I feel like in a in a painting is like the the atm atmosphere you get So I'm gonna leave this one here and uh you know guys just leave uh leave some comments with some feedback or whatever you want. Okay. Didn't have a bit of what? So much, and I would uh, would love to do another one. So let me guys know what you think about this. And yep, yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys.